Hello. Hello. Industry. 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 We're off to a good start here. Back on Industry Tactics. Yeah. In the living room of Wax Mannequin. Thank you for having me. Hey, Rich. Thanks for coming over. You sound great. Thanks. I feel great. Thanks for coming over to talk. I like talking uh, into this microphone, so. Right, like this? Yeah. Maybe a little, yeah, yeah. split the difference. Yeah, you sound great. Whew, and thanks. boy, we had a little bit of technical glitch -ish off the right off the bat. We started with some off-air tactics here. <laughs> yes, serious In your tactics. living room. Uh, so some things I've already learned before we even dive into your world. Okay. Product from China. Risky business when you're running a podcast. Oh yeah, we had a we had an S D disaster. An, S D like an S D disaster, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and we have the beauty stage left to your right if you're watching at home in the VR in the corner. Wax's wife Heather yeah. is mad canning over there, and we are periodically gonna hear the Popinski of the cans if, as they release yeah if we're like if we're, if we're i think it's they'll respond to our, our 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 dynamic here so as we hear that we acknowledge it we will we'll bow to the worship of the can and we know that we'll we're doing a good job if the cans feel comfortable enough to uh pop that's and, how i that's that's how i can tell if uh if if if, if my if, if if i have a good guest the jam cans just start popping. Cans be jamming, and I'm sitting in a dynamite chair here. What could go wrong apart from our fried memory stick? But what could go wrong? I'm sitting in a chicken, a chicken chair. Yeah, yeah, Reupholstered yeah, yeah. chicken chair in your living room. Claudette upholstered that. Claudette, Heather's mom. Uh, Beautiful found name. These, uh, these, these secondhand chairs and telling us, I'm going to give you these chairs for your, for your house. Oh. And we're reupholstering them and, and I'm upholstering them, she she told us. She says, and I, I, you know, she'd never upholstered before. And yeah, I'm like, isn't that hard to do? She says, yeah. no, I'm, I'm doing it. And she took apart another chair to sort of figure out all the sizes of the pieces. Uh -huh. And she took a staple gun and, and just wow. did a beautiful, beautiful job. Oh, I'm honored First to be here on, on yeah. this chair. Let me get up for a second for those of you viewing on the VR, look at that there's chicken. A, there's a lot on there, there's a lot of... Uh, Let me take you closer if you're watching with, now you should be watching this with Samsung, Gar, or Google Cardboard at home. <laughs> look down and observe those chickens. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot to it. Um, should I call, a uh, Wax? Should I call you Wax? That's okay. Or Wax? Oh, oh, oh. Two, yeah. two weirdos here we are in, hey, in your living room. That's true. I, I said it earlier. I mean it. I mean, I feel like we, we connect yeah. over. Do you feel like you're weird are you, yeah. with what you do in your music? I think that's, that's a, a, a descriptor, an apt descriptor. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes a, a shorthand. I, I, don't, I don't. I think early on, in, I, tr I was like. Just thought it would be appropriate to, to, to I like weird things and, and mm -hmm. made weird was consciously making weird music and now you were consciously making I think you, it, yeah you, you enjoyed that you I think you, it, you, you yeah. went there yeah admittedly and okay and okay over the years it's just yeah. a, it becomes a form and you stop it stops being so self aware but nevertheless when asked to describe my music sometimes that's that 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 qualifier you are slips, a weirdo slips in there just uh, like yeah. Weird, weird music, weird folk music. It, 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 right. It keeps people. It keeps the the wrong people away. I think if if you throw in a, a miss, uh, you know, a, a wild card like that, people who want folk music aren't gonna aren't gonna show up because it's weird folk music, and they'll know that's not my kind of folk music. Oh shit! <laughs> how many years have you that's, been? How many years have you been at it? Um. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you what What do you mean by it? Well. When when you first started out trying to be weird or or going after the weird, seeking the weird, knowing the weird, embracing the weird, when you started making music, when was that? Like 
Are we talking twenty years? Yeah, I think making that qualifier. We can't we can't hog it to ourselves. Uh -huh. it's, it's it's a it's sort of a any, long any, line. Anyone who would uh, would try to make things and and feel feel uh, compelled to 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 get them out there is mm -hmm. is uh, pretty pretty uh, you know a pretty rare breed mm -hmm. to begin with, and it's a weird a weird uh, life choice. And so I started making music. Uh, writing songs in my in my teenagerhood and and started really uh, traveling with it in my early 20s uh the insistence of my friend Joey who uh had gone a on a uh, a, 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 a a long adventure out west and back and met met a lot of friends in in the far reaches of this country and, and insisted that uh, that he that he that he that he book a tour for me and so uh -huh. I, I went on a you know I was 22 I think I went on my first uh First tour west, and it was harrowing. It was sort of in October and mid October, and that was like back when I started. That in in in, in many of the prairie provinces, that was winter. I don't know if it's still mm -hmm. winter now in October, mm -hmm. but it was it was like it was really unexpected to see the not only the the breadth of the terrain of this country, but the you know the the diverse frightening weather patterns as I, as I uh, went went west and hit the mountains and and everything for the first time mm. and uh yeah that's i mean writing music long before the traveling but mm -hmm. uh that's really that was the weirdest thing that i had ever done is, is is uh you know and always under the name wax mannequin oh i always used that name yeah yeah, yeah. where does that come from can't i i don't know exactly i it was i think it came up with it when i was i was reading a lot in mm -hmm. university or something mm -hmm. and uh Came from some, uh, some, some, some philosophical piece that I was reading, and uh, okay, and uh, I didn't look back. And 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 what were you studying in university? Well, I was studying uh, uh, English and literature and, okay. and, and art and visual art. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was really into the. You know, I was really, I was really in that scene. My, my you know my first couple of years of university, and then started just putting all my you know, I was making art, and then. Uh, Started making music a lot more. I've, After, I've talked yeah. about this a lot. The idea. So you, so visual arts is a is a thing in your world, eh? Like it, yeah, more yeah. more in the um, in the spirit of it. I yeah. grew up with my mom's an artist and oh wow, uh, and uh, was was really into that for a good a good number of years there, a good number of formative years, mm -hmm. and somehow it just uh, it just got re my my creative juices got funneled into uh music making okay there's something about the early 20s there's something about uh applying a, a visual arts mind or brain to music that i i've i've been observing it you, I, and i'll name a bunch you know the nihilist spasm band i'm just gonna mm -hmm. riff on you know the residents yeah. uh, uh, many other weirdos people who just take a different slant on it yeah i've noticed come from a bit of a visual arts world. I don't know what it is, but every time it comes up, I, I'm fascinated by that. And I go, oh, another one from that from that cut of cloth. It's so interesting to me because it's, I don't know what the hell it is. But there, I think there's something there. I think it's just, because, because let's face it, a music as education straight down the, you know, like straight from the Royal Conservatory of Music mm -hmm. is going to breed, I think, usually one kind of musician but coming at it from a different angle maybe mm -hmm. is, is an interesting thing what what else kind of made your music education i'm trying to figure out how you kind of became you you know okay um, um i think yeah the other thing other things that yeah. i did to be a musician <laughs> Was that? Oh, I played. I played bass in a band. Uh -huh. I, for years, I'd been in Hamilton. The, are, are you from Hamilton originally? Yeah. Well, I was. I grew up in Caledonia, and um, Caledonia. I did some youthful uh, musical lessons then. Mm -hmm. Not, not uh, you know, not too intensive. But over the years, I, I did some piano and some guitar and things. Okay. okay. Uh, and whenever I'd learn uh, a bit uh, of music, I would uh, write because uh, that was the most natural. Uh, thing to do 
I felt when I when I learned a new chord on the guitar, or, mm. you know, learned a bit about piano, as I would just come up with things that I thought sounded good, um, and so that sort of took over for many years, mm. just uh, writing and writing and, and exploring the sounds of the guitar and and putting together things that I liked, um, and I really got away from, uh, you know, playing other people's music for a long time, uh, which. Uh, you got away from that? You, yeah. So, so you started pretty early wanting to get that voice, out, like your own work? Like, did that come early for you? Like, as a. Yeah, I think that was always a motivator for, yeah, yeah. Uh, for me as, as a music, musician. Okay. Uh, you know, the whole purpose was like, and the whole, the whole interest and, in, yeah, and the drive behind it was as, a, as, a, as an outlet, as a, as a way to express uh, stuff. Yeah, make things, yeah. and so it was a you know, and then when I got into to, to the art school, it was a natural. It just seemed like a, a, another another medium, and uh, kind of, uh, yeah, as you say, uh, my my um, visual art urges or performance art urges yeah. just uh, yeah. were were sort of projected into into the musical medium, because um, yeah, as a as a as a, as a as a way to, as a way to make things and yeah. communicate them effectively and and efficiently and quickly i mean there's a tr there's a trade off you, you know music is really performed music's really ephemeral and never mm -hmm. it's always the same it's never the same twice and i've had uh, people in the visual arts uh, or visual type artists uh you know i don't know what what's the word laments not the word but just like uh be uh seem confounded that that you know musicians sort of suffer this this the ephemerality of our music in that yeah. we, we play it and it's gone and we don't keep it but we do in, in, yeah. in you know but the instant of music uh in its purest form in the form it should be okay uh, taken in you know as live as a live uh production is yeah. is you know it's really it's really nothing because it passes so it passes into memory mm-hmm um, mm -hmm. Anyways, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I think I was spiraling off your uh, your your initial question. I think I probably forgot what it was. It was. Uh, uh, hang, hang on. It was. Uh, oh, alas, I forgot too. Forgot too. Two weirdos sitting in your living room in Hamilton. That's what we. I really admire your Hamiltonius. You're the first. Hamiltonian on the Industry Tactics podcast. So I accept that that brand, uh, that label. And you should even wear it proudly. We, well, I do very proudly. Good. I and see it. I see it in the way you roll. I think pure Hamiltonians, though, would, would scoff because right. I'm, I'm up on the hill, up on yeah. the West Mountain. I'm yeah, up yeah. in Lancaster. Uh, Let's say it. <laughs> all right. Okay. But listen, <laughs> we're going to call you Hamilton and, and let, the, let them scoff. Um I interviewed. I interviewed recently Jenny Mitchell, oh, first for one of the first Guelphites, and totally. there's, so there's a lot of these beautiful communities. I really love the way you. You know, I used to associate, and I still do to to a large extent. Uh, I come from Brampton, Ontario. You know, the mm -hmm. the, the suburban vibe is strong. Yeah. Right? And did you grow up in? You grew up in Caledonia. Yeah. It was very neighborhoody. It wasn't yeah. suburban. Uh, uh, okay. It wasn't suburban the same way that Ancaster is suburban, but it was a. Uh, it was enough. Uh, it was normal enough to rail against and, and to want to, to. To to feel like I would, you know, to feel like there's got to be something more than this. So it's funny that I would, uh, I would uh, end up in the burbs and I be really very content here and comfortable. You are. <laughs> I, I got, listen. I have to tell you. I have to tell you. Driving up to your in my Hyundai. Elantra Taring tonight, driving up to your uh, your your driveway, I felt a, a a sense of calm, and another one of the things that I have noticed, we're two weirdos here in a living room in your living room, your beautiful living room here. I don't necessarily, I think weird comes sometimes from like, I don't want to judge the suburbs. I've said this a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I think the nine oh five. I think anywhere is perfectly capable of making weird and, and a truly unique artist lives here. And it's, you know, for me, that's very special. It's like, 
a lot of people kind of come down on the suburbs as a place that that can't foster creativity. I just don't agree with that. Yeah, I I did for years, not as a place that couldn't foster creativity, but just as a, you know... You were against the suburbs for... Yeah, as as just the, you know, the... uh, I get it. You know, yeah, the, the, I think the, we the, all get it, right? The, yeah. But it was, you know, just the, mm-hmm. the, 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 the simplest sort of lifestyle that is it's easily doesn't seem complex enough to yeah. to warrant, uh, you know, it to warrant humans. <laughs> <laughs> and we Scott, we laugh, we're laughing at the suburb, the idea of moving to suburbs all yeah. along while we were looking for a house and. Yeah. And it took us a long time to, to find a, a house and until uh, our friend said, why don't you just, our realtor friend said, why don't you just look at these houses and, mm-hmm. and see if, you know, if you, you know, see why, why, just see why you don't like them. And then, uh, and uh, sure enough, it checked all the boxes and, right, and, uh, right. and, and hit that deep uh, thing that you described, that calm driving through here. Mm-hmm. It, it always creeped me out too when you're driving through and they still do when you when all the houses are the same and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the same exactly the same and different is is uh, something that's always uh, yeah enticed me yeah but there's something about yeah. the pattern of of exactly the same and different that that is uh, it's musical I think I yeah I also think like I really admire the fact that these homes may look may have a similarity to them sure you know every suburb I get it mm. but I love it because I I love finding the tinkerer, the guy who's built a mechan- the only guy in Canada who's built a mechanical organ in his tool shed named oh, yeah. Hank. Yeah, yeah. Or or you finding like you're doing a thing here in your I'm doing a thing in my 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 bungalow feels very you know what I mean? Like I, I grew up in a very similar environment and I I start to look at it and go, it's about the people that occupy it and you you like I'm just thinking about you while driving here going you, I know, like we've met each other many times over shared stages, and 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 I. I know you're fighting the fight to make your weird. Your voice, continue right, and the beautiful career you're having in music, has taken a huge challenge. It's been a probably a great challenge, I think. Right? It's not as it. I'm I'm speaking for you. I don't know you that well, but I want to say that, I feel like you've had to, work, mm-hmm. at preserving what you love about doing this is, is that fair to say in, yeah in a, in a few ways i think but i mean that's probably true of any of course any, any artist but uh but uh, absolutely absolutely and your fresh home from a month-long tour across the country yeah yeah let's talk about it okay but before we do let's play the Log Riders Waltz, your version. Do you well, have a recording? Oh, I don't have a recording of the that. The Log Drivers Waltz. Yeah, I don't have a recording of that, I'm afraid. Let's talk about it. Okay. I, I, I love the fact that you do that tune. Um, it's beautiful. Is it, is, do you do that tune? Is that a regular part of your set? It was for a okay. couple of years there. Uh, it it, uh, so it was good. a nice topper for for or a nice shift in gears, uh, uh-huh. you know. As I'm sure you can appreciate, sometimes, mm-hmm. uh, you know, when you have a, sometimes you can paint yourself into a dark corner within a, in a set of songs, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, if you structure it right, you can bust out with something that is completely incongruous and completely right all at once. And that song uh, served that purpose in in the grand in the in the, in the in the sort of flow of my set for a, a good couple of years there, a good year or so, yeah. while I was touring quite steadily. Um, I loved it. I loved the feel of it. I loved the placement of it. I loved the... And, and, and I love the fact that you you did that and your arrangement is beautiful. I'm, it's interesting to me to hear that you have not recorded it. No, I haven't. Um, I don't, you know... I've, done, I've recorded a few cover what? songs. Yeah, yeah. For me, you know, I've always loved that song, uh, mm-hmm. as you know, because yeah. of its 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 heritage and its uh, its, its, it its, after, its after school sort of yes. incongruous thing that would would come on with that that little animation and yeah and uh, the National Film Board piece and Wade Wade Hemsworth and the McGarrigal sisters singing yeah. it, right and um, 
And so it has a very special place in my heart. And I think uh, a lot of uh, people of my generation who, who come to the shows yeah. would, 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 it would hit that same nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. But uh, for me, it was a performance. Uh, as much as I like the song, I used it as a, as a, as I say, like a, a, a necessary uh, shift in gears or, or, or perf- a set piece in my performance to okay. uh, move it, move it like a transition piece to move it to a different part of the the set. I can sort of introduce other songs of mine afterwards without setting to seeming to ah, you know, it's, yes. it's seeming too uh, out of place. Okay. Yeah, it was it was just a song that I played that was a lot of fun. And I, yeah. I want to balance. I want. I want to play. Like I have a lot of morose music. Some of it's very up tempo and, yeah. and happy, melodically uh, major. Uh, and and some of the some of it's just very thematically dark. But my, it's my goal, of course, at the end of the show, is everyone to walk away feeling good, and okay. like they had like a cathartic party. So it's a song that fit that fit that that puzzle. It, I it made that happen for me. I like the idea now then of uh, borrowing from that model. Why don't we Why don't we start with one of your dark, dark tunes? Set Set one up for us here, and then we'll see if we can end it on a more cheerful tone. But let's okay. go dark. Sure. There's uh, well, this is a song. Uh, it's, it's it's goodbye. This is a song called God's Love. Mm-hmm. 